Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is a really quick video because I can't be bothered to reply to everyone. The L200 sold. Wasn't fulfilling my needs. As a daily, it was just horrific. Now, non-car guy here would buy a PD-130 Mark IV Golf because it's dependable, boring, dull, sensible. Unless you get it remapped and that pulled up a fucking freight train. Now, I wanted something a bit different, you know, something a bit dangerous. So I bought a Range Rover L322. This one has quite a good spec in terms, you know, what it does for me and its history. Now, you can get a boring car like a Golf, unless you're fucking crazy like Brendan, and get an R32 and say, fuck you world, I'm going to do my own thing. Keep an eye on it, because it will be on the channel at some point when it's complete. But yeah, this is going to tow my combo, hopefully, to and from Nürburgring, track days. Have my mates in it, you know, a bit of comfort. Now, when I do finish work on a weekday, if it's been raining, soaking wet, normally fairly knackered. And I just want to climb aboard something to get home. If it gets home, it's a Range Rover. But anyway, heat seats on, cruise control on. And just drive in great comfort. If it go wrong, I've got a really close friend circle. So big shout out to everyone who helps me with my cars. But yeah, you know, it's my money. If it goes shit, go shit. Whatever you buy in this day and age, people are going to criticise. Bought a Navara, snapped in half. Bought a little one free wankle. Well, it's not going to start. But you know what? I bet you them owners are the ones who, you know, appreciate their car. They're car people, which is what it's all about. So, yeah, criticise all you want, but you know what? I don't really care. I'm getting old. You know, I've had an S-Class. I love the comfort. This is the next best thing to an S-Class in terms of what it has to offer and what it does for me. So, yeah, if you're still watching, see you later.